Hi, I'm Marcus Ellis. And I'm Lauren Smith, and we're Team GB badminton players. I competed in the Rio Olympics 2016 in the women's doubles. And I competed in men's doubles, and I got a bronze medal. And we now play together in the mixed doubles event. Without good footwork, you can't go far in badminton. Doesn't matter how hard you can hit the shuttle, if you can't get there in time, it's not worth anything. The correct footwork will help you balance. It can also improve your speed and reaction time, as well as conserve energy for long badminton games. Uh, some of the common mistakes that I see um, when, in people's footwork is um, they're taking too many steps. Why take five steps when you can take two? Um, you can cover more ground in a shorter space of time. For me, the second biggest thing is the first thing you do when you start moving. A lot of people lean and you're already off balance if you do that. The first movement should come from your legs, not from your back. So in these drills, we'll be referring to the base position. So this is going to be the start and end point for every movement. Um, now, the body position for that needs to be wide legs um, and bent knees. And the idea is that you've got a low centre of gravity and you can push off and move in any direction. They're going to use two terms. So a lunge, I'm dropping my body weight down, probably to pick up the shuttle. And the second one is a split step. Before every movement, I will go like this. The first drill we have is called a shuttle pickup. Uh, all you'll need is 10 shuttles and a, a decent space. Um, this is very defensive footwork based, so there'll be a lot of lunging, you'll be coming back to base and you'll be using your split step as well. Um, the idea is you move to the group of shuttles on the floor, pick one up, come back to base and then move to another corner. Okay, so as you can see, Marcus is maintaining low legs uh, throughout the entire movement. Even though we call it a split jump, he's not particularly jumping, he's staying nice and low to the ground. Uh, he's pushing off both legs equally, so although his right leg is doing the lunging, he's using his left leg to push off, especially to the right-hand side of the court, uh, or the grass. <laughs> um, and yeah, he's on his toes a lot of the time, so he's very light, and every step is for a use. There's not too many little quick steps. By this point, it should be burning a little bit. Yes. So the second exercise we're going to do, um, we're going to add a bit more unpredictability to it. Um, it's still the same size court, six areas to move to, um, but my partner is going to call out a number. Each area is assigned a number and I don't know which one's coming. Yeah, so it's really important you keep the smoothness that you had in the first drill when you move on to this one. Um, before I call the number out, Max is going to do sort of a fast feet exercise on the spot. Uh, just to add to that like burn and speed element. Then I'm going to call out the number, he's going to move. Five. One. Two. Six. Three. Four. So you can do these drills absolutely anywhere. Um, you don't have to be on a badminton court. As you can see, we're just using a patch of grass in our garden. And don't forget, with your footwork, you want to be quick and maintain balance during your movement. Make sure to use both of your legs. Remember to start and end in your base position and keep your stance wide with your knees maintaining a low center of gravity. Thanks for watching. Test them out and let us know how they go in the comments below. And for more tips, check out the Olympic channel. I'm Marcus Ellis. And I'm Lauren Smith. And we're Team GB Balan. <laughs> Sorry, try again. Okay. <laughs> Forgotten. A few tips. A few drills. A few drills.